Hi, in this tutorial for beginners, I'll show you how you can create multicolored text in Inkscape. There is more than one way to do this. I'm going to show you two of them. First, let's select the text tool, click and type text F1 for the select and transform tool. Holding down the control key, I'm going to make the text bigger. I'm also going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this text object. Then I'll just drag it over here. Now let's select the first one. And if I decide to change the color of this text to let's say green, notice that this will affect the entire text object. So if I want to apply a color only to one of the letters, I'll need to select the text tool again, then click and drag like this to select this letter and then I can choose another color, for example yellow, and you see that this affected only one of the letters. And as you can see, this way is very easy and also a good thing about it is that the object remains a text object. And that's a good thing because some things in Inkscape you can do only with text objects. But what if you want to apply a gradient to only one letter, like I did here? Let's go ahead and give it a try. I'll start the Fill and Stroke tool. And I'm going to select Linear Gradient. And you see that this affected the entire text object, even though I've selected only one of the letters. The same thing will happen if you decide to use a pattern. You see, the entire text is affected. So, let's grab the Select and Transform tool. Select the second text object and try a different approach. Go to path, object to path, and now I can use this ungroup option. And you see that now each letter is a separate object. And that means that I can change the color of this letter. I can also decide to apply a gradient and this will affect only this letter and not the rest of them. I'll select the gradient that I've previously created. And if you want to learn how to edit and create gradients, I will put a link on the video for my beginner's guide playlist. I have a fill and stroke tutorials there. I think there are six of them so far where you can learn about linear, radial gradients, also about the pattern option. I explain those in detail. So check that out if you want to. And uh, I hope that this was useful. If it was, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, and visit my channel. And that's it for now. Bye.